how to select the correct LED cooler for your Philips 4 Timo SLM LED module. In Mechatronics, under the correct LED cooler, we understand a product which is at one side thermally compatible with what you need, so at the end you get the correct temperature like you desire, and at the other side mechanical compatible, so you don't have to do any extra drillings or tappings to mount your LED module. Let's first look at the thermal performance. And as an example, we are going to design a retail light using the Fortimo LED SLM Food Premium. So we are going to design a shop light of about 3000 lumen. If we look in the data sheets from Philips Light in Fortimo, then we see that we're going to drive this module at a current of 1200 milliamps at a forward voltage of 35.3 volts, what makes a power consumption of 42 watts. Of course, not all of this power is going to heat. We have an efficiency of about 30%, what makes that 70% will go to heat thermal dissipation, what gives us a PD of 29.4 watts. Secondly, we look at the temperature conditions and we want to keep our case temperature, our measurement temperature at 85 degrees Celsius. At the same time, we estimate an ambient temperature for this design at 40 degrees Celsius, what makes a difference of 45 degrees. These two values we put now in a simple formula to calculate the thermal resistance. So we're gonna divide our delta T 45 degrees Celsius by the dissipated power, 29.4 watts, what makes a thermal resistance RTH of 1.53 degrees Celsius per watt. From this value, we deduct the resistance of the interface material between the LED and the LED heatsink, which is in a practical case between 0.1 to 0.2 Kelvin per watt. So we get a needed thermal resistance of the heatsink of 1.33 degrees Celsius per watt as a maximum value. With this value, we are now going to look at the mechanical compatibility. And therefore, we go to our website led-heatsink.com. First, you select the Philips Fortimo section from the website. And then in the search criteria, we are going to select the correct lab module. So in this example, the Philips Fortimo SLM3000 Generation 4. Then you type in the calculated thermal resistance, 1.33 degrees Celsius per watt, and you press on go. The results which now appear below are all thermally and mechanically compatible to what you need. So that means that the 85 degrees Celsius TC we specified in the beginning will be kept or the temperature will be lower. And on the second place, all your Philips 40 Mos are going to fit directly with three screws on these LED coolers. If you need further assistance, don't hesitate to contact us.